We're here with Natalie. Natalie's an EIT at Valley. Natalie, what are we doing today? We're going to go underground. How deep? Uh, today we're going to go 7,940 feet deep. This is pretty big for like a first date for you and I. <laughs> We good? Yeah, it sounds too bad. Gonna walk down the aisle? <laughs> Can we hold hands? Sure, don't go. Okay, great, let's go. <laughs> I've never been on a mine before. Uh, but I'm okay. We are now 7,940 feet below the Earth's surface, and this is like your cubicle. Yep, this is pretty much it. So what do you do down here? Um, I come down and take care of the uh, ground support. So I'm a ground control engineer in training. Okay, ground control engineer in training. Now, where, what, what did you do? Where'd you go to school? I went to school at Laurentian University. How long were you there for? Uh, five years. Five years there. It's a four-year program, 55. Victory laps are fine. Yes. Ground control engineer in training, what does that mean? So there's quite a few responsibilities for my job, but one of them entails going underground and making sure that the miners put in the proper support where we ask them to put it in and making sure that they use the, the right bolts and that they installed it properly. Okay, so is that something like this, like what we got behind us here? That's exactly something That's exactly it? Yes. How convenient. <laughs> You're in training, so is there like a guy that walks behind you and like looks over your shoulder and makes sure, no, not there, Natalie, you're going to put it there instead? No, he's not always over my shoulder. Not always. I do have a mentor who helps, okay. uh, well, he's pretty much in charge, and then I help uh, take care of some of the responsibilities. No one point in telling us where we should tell the people to put the bolts. What makes this mine and this company different? Like, what brought you here? There's a few things that brought me to Valley, and that includes the fact that it's global and has global opportunities. Right. So I, I could have the option of potentially going to work in Brazil or Australia if I wanted to, so that's, that's one of the big factors. And uh, the fact that there is an engineering training program that will allow me to um, learn more than just ground control. Okay, so you're looking to spread your wings a little bit? Yeah, next uh, I'm going into ventilation, so I'll be learning more about ventilation. And then I'll have the opportunity to go underground and do my uh, underground common core and uh, do some sh training with the shifters and foremen. This is not like a drop-in community and you live there and then you go out. This is like your home and other people are making their homes here. So what can you expect in Sudbury? Absolutely. That's exactly what it is. It's a home and family type of life. Yeah. Uh, we go camping, fishing, the snow machining in the winter, the, the typical northern things to do. Right on. And we also do like, we, there's plenty of places to go out at night. I'm still pretty young, so I still do the bar hopping every now and then. So where are we going tonight? <laughs> All right, Natalie, behind us is one serious, serious piece of machinery. What is this? This is the Atlas Copco Boltec. No idea. What does it do? The Atlas Copco Boltec is um, a mechanized equipment we have to install ground support. Okay. So it's a new cutting edge technology that allows the operator to be away from the face and away from the area where he's bolting and in an enclosed cabin. Okay, so. How do they know though? Like, how do they know where to put in the bolts? Is it like an Obi Wan Kenobi use the force? Uh, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Have you no. ever tried that method? Though? <laughs> I thought about it. Just for fun. How do they do it? Um, there are several different methods to uh, help decide which type of support will go where. So that includes uh, stress modeling with uh, 3D stress software. It also includes uh, talking to geology, coming take a look at the area, checking out what type of rock is there, if there are any structures in play. What's the, uh, the strength of that rock? Uh, is there water in the area? All those factors are taken, taken into consideration when you try to decide which support will be installed where. Now, you know, you have this piece of machinery here. Let's just say on the weekend you wanted to put up a wall in your backyard. Can you take it home? No. No? No, that'd be uh, handy, actually. It would be so handy and also it, really fast. Now, what are we doing here? What is this? So, another part of my job includes monitoring and maintaining the seismic system at Creighton Mine. Okay. So, that includes finding seismic system uh, sensors, troubleshooting them, fixing them if there's any problems, and helping with the uh, initial install. So, this is an example of a uniaxial accelerometer. This is also an example of something that would scare you if you walked into a doctor's office. <laughs> so, this is one of the sensors used to triangulate the locations of uh, seismic events. So, that would mean like little mini earthquakes? Yes, little okay. earthquakes that happen underground. So, so wait, we wait, monitor wait. their location. If you put that somewhere and then I jumped up and down beside it, would someone just go like crazy in the office? Um, they could actually hear you if you spoke beside them. If I, if, even if I just spoke? Just speaking beside them, they can hear you. They're very sensitive. <laughs> 
Hello. Oh, it's not hooked up right now. Can we do that after? We can try it. Yeah. Okay, so how do you hook it up? Um, so this end here, I have to splice it to uh, some power. Okay. So up here, we have some power that's already been run here. All right. So it's very little voltage. So I just have to hook it up together, getting up in this uh, basket here. Oh, you have to go in there? I have to go in the basket, yes. You have to, you're going to leave me. <laughs> yes. Can I come with you? I think you'll be okay with me. Are you sure? Yes. I'll, I'll be waiting okay. for you <laughs> here. No problem. <laughs> Well, Natalie, thanks so much for showing us about the EIT program. Yeah, no problem. It's my pleasure. From Valley's Creighton Mine right here in Sudbury, we are done and saying bye-bye. <laughs>